Hello and welcome to another video tutorial about FreeCAD. In this video tutorial we are going to model with casino dice as shown here on the screen. We will use the part workbench and with part design workbench. We will learn what construction mode does mean and we will learn how to apply color to certain faces of an object in FreeCAD. The version we are using here is the 0.14 stable release for Windows 7 64-bit. So let's begin with the lesson. I close this document here, I create a new document and the first thing we have to do is to make sure that we are in the part workbench. So we will first insert a cube and we will insert a sphere. We will highlight the sphere and give it a radius of 25 millimeters. If you go to wireframe mode you will see that if you also uh, toggle the axis cross that the sphere is already centered. This is OK. But the box is inserted in a wrong position. And it has of course standard dimensions of 10 millimeters in each direction which we will now correct. So we highlight the cube, we look at the data tab and we correct all the three dimensional values to 36 millimeters. And here 36. Okay. Now we will correct the placement of the cube. We will click in the placement row and we will click once again on the three dots. We apply incremental changes and remember when we applied here 36 millimeters so we have to correct about 18 millimeters in every direction but we have to make sure to use negative values. Here we go. We apply all the values and say OK. We switch back off the axis cross, we go back to as is mode and this is how these two uh, objects will look like in the 3D view. So now we will highlight these two objects with multi-select and we will do a boolean operation we will make an intersection, meaning what is common as volume with both selected objects will be kept. If you click on here, you see we just have this cube with rounded corners, which will be uh, the basic shape for our casino dice. The next step would be to model the dots on the different side of the cube or to say the dice. Let's begin with modeling the six dots on the top uh, side of the dice. So we will select this top face we will switch to the part design workbench and we will begin a sketch on the top plane. So first we will create a rectangle which should help us positioning the six dots. So let's create a rectangle. We have an under constraint sketch we have already been given these constraints, these are OK. So first thing we will do is add symmetry 
and also at symmetry here. Here we go. Now we add equality to these two sides. And now we will highlight one of the uh, sides of a rectangle and apply a dimension of 16 millimeters. Okay, we will drag this a little bit outwards. So now we will do something new. We will highlight every side of a rectangle and we will use this icon to toggle the construction mode. We will apply the operation and as you can see the lines went from white color to blue color. Now what does toggling the construction mode mean? It means that you declare these sketch elements, they can be arcs or circles or lines or whatever, as uh, let's say supplementary uh, geometry. It is a little bit like when I was beginning my mechanical engineering studies. We first drew up on a sheet of paper with uh, pencil and rubber our geometry and then we decided which geometry to keep and which geometry not to keep. The geometry to be kept was redrawn with ink and the rest, well, he used the rubber and deleted it. It's a little bit like that. Construction geometry is supplementary geometry, not directly used for a pad or pocket or revolve operation or whatever. It is normally used to help us position sketch elements. So now we have to apply all the six dots of the t uh, top side of a dice. So we draw a circle at the corner point of a rectangle. We draw a circle somewhere here in empty space and then we will mark uh, we will highlight um, the center of this circle and we will also highlight this construction line here and then we will apply symmetry so that uh, the center of the circle is in the middle of this line. When we will also apply a circle to the corner here circle here. We will apply a circle here and then we will do the same on this side. Now it got it's gotten highlighted. We will apply symmetry and we will also draw a circle here at this corner. Now we will make all of the six circles equal. We apply here the equality constraint. We will give one of the circles a radius of 3 mm and end up with a fully constrained sketch. We close the sketch. We apply a pocket operation with a length of 0, 0,1 mm. We apply OK. We change to axometric view, fit all, and here we are, we have just created six dots on the top face of the dice. For your own convenience, you can, if you like, highlight in the tree view one of the operations, do a right click here, and you can say rename this operation. You could, for instance, 
rename this operation and give it a designation like let's say six dots. As you can see I did the same when modeling for the first time the casino dice. I just gave everything German designations since I'm German. So the next step would be to draw the five dots on this front side of the dice. So we select this face, we create a sketch map to this face, we once again draw our rectangle, we apply symmetry and as well here we apply equality to two sides, we apply the 16 millimeters, we'll draw them a little bit outwards and then we will highlight all four sides of a rectangle and toggle the construction mode. Well, the next step is obvious. We draw the five dots. The dots will be at the corner of the just drawn rectangle. And in the origin of a sketch. Okay. Now we highlight all the five circles apply the equality constraint and apply to one of the circles a radius of 3 mm and we have a fully constrained sketch. We close the sketch, we apply the pocket operation with a length of 0 0.1 mm and here we go, we just made the five dots on this side of the dice. Now we will move on to the side with the four dots. Ok, we will select this face, we will create a sketch, we will draw our famous rectangle and do the same thing as we did before. We apply symmetry here, Oops. we apply symmetry here, we apply equality, we apply the 60 millimeters, Here we go. We will move the distance outward and we will highlight all of four sides of a rectangle and toggle the construction mode. Now we will draw on every corner of a rectangle a circle. And here the last one. And now we will highlight all the four circles. We will apply equality and we will apply to one of the circles a radius of 3 mm. Ok, we close the sketch, we apply a pocket operation with a length of 0 0.1 mm. Here we go. And as you can see we already created three sides of the dice. So maybe you know that if we look at the dice, the opposing sides will have a total sum of dots of 7, meaning that this side here must have one dot, 
because 1 plus 6 is 7. The side here must have 3 dots and the side here must have 2 dots. Okay, so we move the dice a little bit around in 3D space. In order to select this face, we draw a sketch, we draw a rectangle. Now we apply symmetry as we did before. With the other sketches, we apply the symmetry as well here. We apply equality to two of the sides. We apply 16 millimeters. We move the dimension here a little bit outward. And we will highlight all four sides of a rectangle and toggle the construction mode. Now we will draw our three circles. Let's make sure that the automatic constraining is good. Okay, here we go. Now we will apply equality to all of the three circles. And we will apply a radius of 3 mm to one of the circles. We will close the sketch. We will apply a pocket operation of 0, 0,1 mm. We say OK. And we are done with the side with the three dots. So the next step is to do the operations necessary to produce the two dots on this side here. So we draw our sketch. We'll set again our symmetry. We will set again equality. We will choose one side and set the dimension to 16 millimeters. And then we will toggle the construction mode. And then we will draw our two circles here in the upper right corner and in the lower left one. We will apply equality to the two circles and we will apply a radius of 3 mm. We close our sketch, we choose the pocket operation and we apply a length of 0, 0,1 mm. We say OK. And now we apply here a sketch. We create a circle at the origin. We apply a radius of 3 mm. We close the sketch. We apply a pocket operation. And we choose the length once more to be 0, 0,1 mm. And here we are. The dice is complete with all uh, the dots necessary. As you can see on the left side in the tree view, we kept all the previous operational steps and you can toggle the visibility by right clicking on it and uh, you can make uh, the previous steps visible or invisible to your liking. If you want to edit or alter values from previous operational steps, of course the visibility will be toggled to on so that we are, this operational step will become editable. For instance, if I turn on the visibility of common here on, you will see, oops, all dots are now no longer pockets. And I can also turn the visibility of the last step here off. And that's how our model looked like after making the first step after inserting uh, the cube and the sphere. So I can toggle visibility off.
and I can toggle the visibility here on and have now uh, a look <coughs> of uh, complete shape. Now if you want to apply colors in FreeCAD you have to choose if you want to apply color to a certain face or to a whole object. You ha highlight the object in the tree view, you make a right click and then you can say appearance which will apply to the whole object which you highlighted or you can say set colors and now a dialog will uh, pop up asking you to select the faces in the 3D view. Let's see, I will select this face and here the number of a face appeared. Now if I do multi-selection as you are already used to do, I will um, press down the control key and keep it pressed and select additional faces like this one, this one, here we go. I will turn around the model. I will press control again and keep it pressed to select this and this face. I release control at the moment. I press control again and click here so that I have all these faces. Now I click here and I can set a complete custom color or I can choose a predefined basic color. Let's choose this green color. Click on OK. OK. And here we go. Now of course we can also do the coloring step for all the dots. So let's click on all the dots. I now release the control button and I now press it again to do a multiple selection. I release control, now I'll press it again and keep it pressed. OK. And now we apply to all the dot faces a white color. Here we go. And here we are complete with our dice model. So, we have reached the end of today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Feel free to leave any comments and see you uh, maybe soon on another video. Bye!